Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the very first tutorial of Angry Ginger Gaming, well, tutorials. Today, I decided that I get this question a lot by clients that I have, and I figured I'm going to do videos on very common questions that my clients have in hopes that it will help some of you guys out. Okay, so most of these tutorials are going to assume you know almost nothing about Windows and computers. So a lot of these tutorials are going to be more basic. Of course, if you do want more advanced tutorials, please let me know in the comments below. And I will do basically anything that you guys are interested in me doing. So today we're going to do a very generic problem that happens a lot of the time. And it's how to speed up a slow PC. And obviously getting a new CPU or getting more memory is going to help improve performance. But this tutorial is going to be about how to do it without buying new hardware in any way, shape, or form. Now, depending on the computer's status, you know, did it get crypto locked? Did it get a virus that just made it so unusable that it needs a format? A, a format and reinstall sometimes is the fastest and easiest way to get your computer back up to how it was when you first got it. But that is a huge pain. You have to reinstall your programs. You have to set everything up again. If you had saved passwords, you have to redo everything. So obviously, we don't want to do that route unless we absolutely have to. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a few tools I like to use. Um, so let's, let's get started here, guys. So the very first thing we're going to start with is disk defragging. Okay, so this is a program I like to use a lot. By the way, I'm on Windows 10. If you have Windows 7, it's very similar. Um, if you do a quick Google search, um, for OsLogic's disk defrag, okay, just go on Google, search, just type that in. You'll find a free download, absolutely free. You'll be able to defrag your hard drive. Now what this means is your your hard drive over time gets disorganized. So pieces of files, a piece of a file might be in the middle of the platter and then the other section of it might be on another part of the hard drive. So what this does is it, it analyzes your drive, as I'll do right here. And all the red is essentially files that are out of order. And what this program is going to do is basically put everything back together. Now just a note, if you have a solid state drive, you tend to not need to defrag. And actually using a program like this can actually harm the life of your solid state drive. So speaking of this, so this is a solid state drive, so it's pretty fragmented, but I'll deal with that later. Um, so I'm not gonna defrag it now. But I have, I have special software that helps with solid states. But in, in the most part, a fragmented solid state drive doesn't really matter. Um, but if you have a normal one, definitely you download this program. Use it once a week or so. Make sure to click the arrow here. Select the drive you want, or drives. Click the arrow down, and use defrag and optimize once a week. And if you want your computer to shut down after it's finished, uh, you can just click this. So this is, I'm just noticing that this is actually a slightly older version than what is out right now. So actually, when you get the newer version, you'll see in, up here, there'll actually be a little drop down menu where you can choose to put it to sleep, just close the program or shut down. So there's some options for you here. Another thing to be looking for is processes that could be affecting your computer's performance. Now, a lot of the, of the time, uh, these processes can be viruses or they can just be a, a hungry hog of a program. So it, to check quickly, if you have any of these type of programs, right click your taskbar, and it doesn't matter if you're Windows 7 or 8, and go to Task Manager. Okay, and this is going to look different than Windows 7, but 
for Windows 10 people, it's, it should still be roughly the same. Click on the Processes tab, and I'm sure in Windows 7, now I'm trying to remember if it does have that. I'm pretty sure it has a Processes button. Anyways, you'll find a tab at the top that will look similar to this. Okay, and what you can do is you can organize either by lowest memory usage or highest. So what we want to do is make sure to see what the highest memory hog is and take a look and see if you see anything unusual. Um, if you're unaware of this, this is where you might need someone that's a little more techie to help you out if you don't know what all these things are. But for the most part, as I see here, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. The, the highest memory usage right now is actually the recording for this. So this is okay. But that's just a quick check. Now, a lot of people complain, speaking of this, of processes, a lot of people complain about how long their computer takes to load up. So as a bonus, I'm going to throw this one in. So you're going to go to the start menu. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And we're going to go to the run application, which you'll see in Windows Windows 7 as well. And we're going to type in ms config in the run. Okay? Press enter. You're going to get something called system configuration. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to click on startup here. Now in Windows 7, you'll see a bunch of startup stuff. Unfortunately, Windows 10, I, I, this is one of the features I don't like. They changed it a little bit. But you will see a bunch of things. Um, make sure to click the check box that you'll see. It'll say hide all Microsoft services or, well, not services. But anyways, I can't remember what Windows, I haven't used Windows 7 in a while, unfortunately. But basically, check off things that you really don't need. You know, if you see iTunes helper, Adobe, you know, just pick off things and turn them off. You know, stuff like, you know, torrent programs, Steam, if you're a video game person. You know, there, there's tons of different applications. And again, if you don't know what you're doing here, get someone that kind of knows stuff about computers that can help you with that. So, actually, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm going to take a look. So, I see uTorrent for legitimate files. Don't worry about it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable or turn that off. I don't want that loading up at startup. It just slows my, my programs down or my computer down and I do not want that running. If I want to use it, I'll load it up on my own. Okay? Services manager is already disabled. This Adobe stuff, Adobe Reader, I don't need. Even this st update or startup utility, get rid of it. This is for gaming. That's disabled. Uh, that's for remote access. I don't need that. Apple push. You might want to keep, make sure not to disable your graphic drivers stuff. Cisco stuff. Oh, it's already disabled. Maybe an easier way to do this is to organize it by all enabled stuff. So Dropbox, I actually need that. Go to assist. I do need that. But most people can disable that unless you are using Dropbox. iCloud. I actually don't use iCloud on anything on this computer. I don't even know what that is. What the hell is that? Anyways, I'm just going to leave that. Plex I actually need. So you just go down and you, you look for stuff. I see this is from Adobe. I don't need this. TeamSpeak, I really don't need that enabled, etc. You get the picture. Disable the things that you don't need at startup. And if your computer takes a long time to boot up, chances are you have a bunch of junk in this startup that is slowing you down. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, and this is very important. Unfortunately, there's no version of this for Windows 10. So Windows 7, guys, you are in luck. So this is a great website that I want you guys to remember, and it's called a Bleeping Computer. This computer has, a, or this website has tons and tons of software that's really, really good. So for viruses, if you're heavily infected, this is the one I recommend 
it fixes a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, as you can see here, it's only up to eight. I didn't even know it ran eight. From last time I remember, it was seven and under. I've never tested it on eight, so I, I wouldn't even recommend it for eight. So if you're on seven, Vista or XP, grab this program, let it run. What it will do is disable your internet temporarily. It will scan and get rid of tons of malware and other programs. Another program that goes well with it, and this also this works for Windows 10, so feel free to download this one. This one also helps scan for registry issues, uh, you know, that unwanted software can can you know add to your computer it pretty well clears a lot of the crap you don't want and as as you see here yeah it's for anything so definitely i recommend this program as well so download these two programs and run them if you're finding your computer really slow chances are it could be infected with a virus um, after doing that the last program i recommend is malware bytes it's also free so download it, run a scan on that, make sure after those three scans, you should be pretty good for uh, cleaning up your system there. If you're still finding your computers pretty slow, there are other things you can do to speed it up. This tends to happen with older systems that may just not have the memory to run a lot of stuff. Uh, one second here. This isn't even what I want. So, I haven't actually had to do this in a while, so we're gonna just take a little looky-loo and I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it here. Um, where am I going? Okay, so if we go to system, <coughs> which will be in the control panel. So on Windows 7, start menu, control panel, or on Windows 10, you can right click. A lot of people don't know that actually. If you right click the start menu in Windows 10, you have access to pretty much anything you're gonna be wanting. So we go to system. And we go to advanced system settings. And then under performance, we're gonna go over here. So performance options, we can actually turn off certain animations. We can disable basically a lot of things that take up memory. So you can adjust for best performance and you can actually run it windows like that. It'll save on memory, it will speed up your computer. Um, I'm not going to mess with those settings. So there's a few tips. Of course, there are many other ways you can speed up your computer, but I thought I'd just do a... It's actually a little longer than I thought it was going to be on how to fix your computer up quickly and easily without hardware. So thanks a lot, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe. I'm going to try to do a tutorial. I'd like every day, but obviously that's not realistic. But definitely subscribe. I'm going to have regular tutorials. If you have a tutorial you want me to do or you have a question about anything computer related, please just uh, either message me directly or a comment in the posts and I will be able to help you out. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay tuned for more. Take care.